Okay. You're going to have VC, which is volume control. Or this plus, and I'm putting it on both sides so that because it, it goes with both of them, I'll show you. Huh? Just gotta trust the process, guys. Just you guys will be all right. Do we make a line in the middle? Then? <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> Listen, listen, let me show you. I'm putting it on both sides because for assist control, you can have assist control, volume control. For SIMV, you can have SIMV volume control. And then we're going to talk about it. And we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it, and we're going to talk about it. And then SIMV that way. Okay? In other words, you cannot have AC, SIMV, volume control. Right. You have to have AC or SIMV. You can never have AC, SIMV. That's why I put or. Right there. OR. And then along with one of each of those, you'll have one of the three that I'm going to write here. Okay? <laughs> so I just, you know, my, okay. I, I understand because my husband and I will be reading something and he'll read a line and he'll go, blah, 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 what about, and it's the answer, the very next line, because he didn't finish reading. Um, <laughs> so, Min. let me talk, and once I lay it out, if you're confused, I'll answer questions, okay? <laughs> I've never steered you wrong before, I'm not going to this time. Charlie, I appreciate it. <laughs> Come on guys, keep focused up here, you're going to piss me off today if you don't. And I'm not gonna try to. I'm not gonna try to keep writing this low. I just don't have any choice right here. I'll keep it up. control PRVC pressure regulated volume control so AC or SIMV plus this one or this one or this one not all three it would be plus one of them so one of those plus one of these makes up a mode not this by itself not this by itself and not those two together okay so if you tell, tell me someone's in volume control, I'm gonna say that's not enough information, because it's not. We need to know is it assist control volume control or SIMV volume control? And there's a big difference between the two. And you will also have the ability to take pictures when I'm done. Okay, it's all going to have all kinds of drawings up here that will make it make more sense. <laughs> okay, so let's first talk about assist control volume control. In assist control, all breaths are machine breaths, no matter what. Whether it's time to get one, Remember when we talked about how a breath can be delivered? 
whether it's time to get one or whether my patient triggers one. So all breaths are machine breaths, so vanilla letter breaths. whether they are time or patient triggered. So those are all machine. How often, if our rate is 12, how often is the machine going to give them a breath? How often? Every five seconds. these is going to be a volume of 500 in a perfect world. What can happen to the pressure though in this one? If my volume is being controlled, what does that mean about the pressure? It, it can vary. So this time the pressure might be 25, this time it's 23, this time it's 27. So, and as you're thinking about this, you gotta think of the name of the mode that you're talking about. It's volume control. You're controlling the volume. So if you're controlling the volume, the variable is the pressure. So the pressure can change. So in the lab, which you're gonna get back one of them today, and I didn't mark them all whether they were right or wrong, but you need to make a note. Because if you're in volume control, and you have a decrease in compliance or an increase in resistance, either one, what is it going to do to the tidal volume? Nothing. The answer is nothing. It's going to stay the same because I am controlling the volume. What would change? Pressure. The pressure would change. So we'll put volume is constant. and the pressure will vary. With changes in compliance or resistance. And it's always going to be bad changes. I'm not talking about good here right now. So I'll say a decrease in compliance or an increase in resistance. So VT is constant and the pressure will vary with changes in compl decrease in compliance or an increase in resistance. What's wrong? With changes in decrease in compliance or increasing resistance. I just put the abbreviations. Glasses? Uh, <laughs> oh. Okay. So we got that part. Now, here, my patient's triggered a breath. See the negative deflection? If you're in assist control, patient triggers a breath, what's going to happen is the machine is going to deliver a full volume, 500. 
and again, your varying pressure. So we'll say that time it's 28. So all breaths are machine breaths, whether they are time or patient triggered. No matter whether it's time for my patient to get one or he takes one on his own, by that I mean an effort, he's gonna get a full machine breath that's gonna kick in and support him. So if my patient is in assist control, is this full support or partial support? Full or partial? Partial? My patient's gonna get a full machine breath every time, whether it's time or the patient gets one. It's full support. about everything but that. Flow. <coughs> and so we can set tidal volume, frequency, flow. What about eye time? Mm -hmm. Now remember some of this is vent dependent, but these would be all the different variables depending on your ventilator. Eye time and then the other one, which we're still going to have to talk about later, is flow pattern. frequency, flow, eye time, flow pattern. We're not setting pressure because that's going to vary. Okay? The other thing I want to mention, and I'm going to abbreviate AVD, advantages. Advantages to ACVC would be we're able to control minute ventilation and therefore CO2 best because we are in control of the volume. Because volume is the biggest variable in minute ventilation. We've talked about that some. So if we're in ACVC, we are able to control the patient's minute ventilation and carbon dioxide the best. So you're gonna learn later on that there's a couple patients that that's gonna be advantageous for. And we'll say that we prefer ACBC because of that. I will also say that as far as the world of medicine and RTs and doctors go, I realize that to you guys, PC, PRVC, and all of this stuff seems like second nature because it's all you've ever known. But to old school RTs and stuff, PRVC to some is still like a foreign language, <laughs> believe it or not. So in the world of mechanical ventilation, every RT doctor, I don't care how old school they are, everyone knows how to use ACVC. So what would be a disadvantage? The fact that the pressure varies and that you can have bar barrel trauma. So pressure changes can cause barotrauma.
I'm sorry, I know that's small. Let me use our board there. Yeah. <laughs> You'll see when we get to SIMV, we don't have to repeat all of this part. I'm just going to show you what the difference is and how it works. Because this part is all the same. So once you guys have this, let me know and I'm going to switch it over to SIMVBC so I can show you what the difference is.